Hey, what's up guys? In this video, we're going to be checking out all the Kibble recipes and what goes into them. So let's get right to it. Now, remember before we start guys, I will most definitely pronounce things incorrectly. So just forgive me in advance, okay, because there's no way that I'm going to say all these dinosaur names right. And now, let's get to it. Alright guys, to start off, we are going to go alphabetically with all the kibble recipes. Now, all kibble will need to take at least 25% full water skin, water jar, or canteen. Now, I would recommend using water skin since it really doesn't care what you use. Now, we're going to start with our alphabetical list at Allosaurus Egg Kibble. Now the Allosaurus Egg Kibble needs one Allosaurus Egg, one Savo Root or Potato, one Cooked Prime Meat, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Allosaurus Egg Kibble is used to tame the Tapajara and the Griffin. Ankylosaurus Egg Kibble takes one Anklo Egg, one Savo Root, one Prime Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Anklo Egg Kibble can be used to tame the Carnotaurus. Aranio or Spider Kibble takes one Aranio Egg, one Rock Carrot, one Prime Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Aranio Egg Kibble cannot be used to tame anything. Archaeoteryx Kibble takes one Archaeoteryx Egg, one Long Grass or Corn, one Cooked Fish Meat, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. Archaeoteryx kibble can be used to tame Diplocolis. Argentavis kibble takes one Argentavis egg, one citronol or lemon, one prime meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Argentavis egg kibble can be used to tame the Spinosaurus. Baryonyx kibble takes one Baryonyx egg, one Savo root, one raw mutton, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Baryonyx kibble can be used to tame the Megalania. Bronto Kibble takes one Bronto Egg, one Rock Carrot, one Cooked Meat Jerky, and two Mayo Berries and three Fiber. The Bronto Kibble can be used to tame the Sabertooth. Carnotaurus Kibble takes one Carno Egg, one Savo Root, one Cooked Meat, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Carnotaurus Kibble can be used to tame the Trike, the Dire Wolf, and the Dire Bear. Compsognathus or Compi Kibble takes one compi egg, one citronol, one cooked fish meat, and two mayo berries and three fiber. The compi kibble can be used to tame the Kentrosaurus. Dilophosaurus kibble takes one dillo egg, one citronol, one cooked meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The dillo kibble can be used to tame the anklo, the dewindocurus, or the paki. Dimetrodon kibble takes one dimetrodon egg, one citronol, one cooked meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Dimetrodon kibble can be used to tame the Gallimimus. Dimorphodon kibble takes one Dimorphodon egg, one long grass, one cooked meat or cooked meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Dimorphodon kibble can be used to tame the Megaloceros. Diplodocus kibble takes one Diplo egg, one Savile root, one rare flower, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Diplo kibble can be used to tame the Allosaurus. Dodo kibble takes one dodo egg, one rock carrot, one cooked meat or cooked fish meat, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The dodo kibble can be used to tame the pterodon, the itchy, or the mesopithecus. Gallimimus kibble takes one Gallimimus egg, one savo root, one cooked meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Gallimimus kibble can be used to tame the terror bird or the castoroides. Ichthyornis kibble takes one Ichthyornis egg, one savo root, one rare flower, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Ichthyornis kibble can be used to tame the giant bee. Iguanodon kibble takes one Iguanodon egg, one rare mushroom, one prime meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Iguanodon kibble can be used to tame the Deodon. 
Kairuku kibble takes one Kairuku egg, one Savo root, one cooked meat or cooked meat jerky, and two Meho berries and three fiber. The Kairuku kibble can be used to tame the angler. Caprosuchus kibble takes one Caprosuchus egg, one Savo root, one prime meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. Caprosuchus kibble cannot be used to tame anything. Kentrosaurus egg kibble takes one Kentro egg, one Ammonite bile, one Golden Hesperornis egg, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Kentrosaurus kibble can be used to tame the Uteranus. Lystrosaurus kibble takes one Lystro egg, one Rock carrot, one cooked prime meat or prime meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Lystrosaurus kibble can be used to tame the Diplodocus. Megalania kibble takes one Megalania egg, one giant bee honey, ten chitin, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Megalania kibble can be used to tame the Megatherium. Megalosaurus kibble takes one Megalosaurus egg, one rock carrot, two prime meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Megalosaurus kibble can be used to tame the Therizinosaurus. Microraptor kibble takes one Microraptor egg, one long grass, one prime meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Microraptor kibble can be used to tame the Iguanodon. The Moss Chops kibble takes one Moss Chops egg, one Savile root, one cooked meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. Moss Chops kibble can be used to tame the Perlopia. Oviraptor kibble takes one Oviraptor egg, one long grass, one prime meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Oviraptor kibble can be used to tame the Megalosaurus. The Packy kibble takes one Packy egg, one citronol, one cooked meat, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Packy kibble can be used to tame the Pariser. Pachyrhinosaurus kibble takes one Pachyrhinosaurus egg, one citronol, one cooked prime fish meat, two Meho berries, and three fiber. Pachyrhinosaurus kibble can be used to tame the Baryonyx. Parasaur kibble takes one Parasaur egg, one long grass, one cooked meat or cooked meat jerky, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Parasaur kibble can be used to tame the Raptor. Pegomastax kibble takes one Pegomastax egg, one citronol, one raw prime fish meat, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Pegomastax kibble can be used to tame the Ichthyornis or the Pelagornis. The Pelagornis kibble takes one Pelagornis egg, one citronol, ten chitin, two Meho berries, and three fiber. The Pelagornis kibble can be used to tame the Archaeopteryx. The pterodon kibble takes one pterodon egg, one rock carrot, one cooked meat or cooked meat jerky, two meho berries, and three fiber. The pterodon kibble can be used to tame the carbonemus. The plumoscorpius or scorpion kibble takes one plumoscorpius egg, one long grass, one prime meat jerky, two meho berries, and three fiber. The plumoscorpius kibble can be used to tame the rex or the bezel bufo. The Quetzal Kibble takes one Quetzal egg, three rock carrots, three prime meat jerky, a hundred mayo berries, and a hundred and twenty fiber. The Quetzal Kibble can be used to tame the Mosasaurus, the Gigantosaurus, and the Dimetrodon. Raptor Kibble takes one Raptor egg, one long grass, one cooked meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Raptor Kibble can be used to tame the Mammoth. Rex Kibble takes one Rex egg, one long grass, one prime meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Rex Kibble can be used to tame the Plesiosaur or the Quetzal. Sarcosuchus Kibble takes one Sarco egg, one rock carrot, one cooked meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The Sarco Kibble can be used to tame the Stegosaurus. Spinosaurus kibble takes one spino egg, one savo root, one prime meat jerky, two mayo berries, and three fiber. The spino kibble can be used to tame the megalodon. 
The Stegosaurus Kibble needs one Stego Egg, one Citronol, one Prime Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Stegosaurus Kibble can be used to tame the Argentavis. Tapajara Kibble takes one Tapajara Egg, one Rock Carrot, one Cooked Prime Meat, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Tapajara Kibble can be used to tame the Caprosuchus. Terror Bird Kibble takes one Terror Bird Egg, one Citronol, one Cooked Meat or Cooked Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Terror Bird Kibble can be used to tame the Woolly Rhino. Therizinosaurus Kibble takes one Therizeno Egg, one Citronol, one Angler Gel, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Therizinosaurus Kibble can be used to tame the Basiliosaurus. Titanoboa Kibble takes one Titanoboa Egg, one Long Grass, one Cooked Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. Titanoboa Kibble can be used to tame the Gigantopithecus, the Dunculotusis, and the Thylacolio. Triceratops Kibble takes one Trike Egg, one Savo Root, one Cooked Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. Trike Kibble can be used to tame the Sarcosuchus. The Truodon Kibble takes one Truodon Egg, one Savo Root, two Rock Carrots, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Truodon Kibble can be used to tame the Equus. The Carbonemus Kibble takes one Turtle Egg, one Rock Carrot, one Prime Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Turtle Kibble can be used to tame the Brontosaurus. And in Scorched Earth, we have the Morellatops Kibble. Morellatops Kibble takes one Camelsaurus Egg, one Savo Root, 50 Chitin, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. Morellatops Kibble can be used to tame the Thorny Dragon. Mantis Kibble takes one Mantis Egg, one Citronol, one Obsidian, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Mantis Kibble can be used to tame the Rock Elemental. The Lymantria or the Moth Kibble takes one Moth Egg, one Citronol, one Prime Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Moth Kibble cannot be used to tame anything. Thorny Dragon Kibble takes one Thorny Dragon Egg, one Savile Root, one Cooked Meat Jerky, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. Thorny Dragon Kibble can be used to tame the Lymantria or the Moth. Vulture Kibble takes one Vulture Egg, one Long Grass, one Cooked Meat, two Mayo Berries, and three Fiber. The Vulture Kibble can be used to tame the Morella Tops. 